Good day everybody, this is Dark Comet and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today we're going to be going after my second legendary weapon in the game. Like I said, there's three in total and they're all in-game weapons, meaning that you have to do a lot of uh, requirements and a lot of things, even missions in the game to even get to the point where you can actually pull these out of the locations that they are. Um, I think you guys will like this one. It is the legendary spear of Odin is called Gungnir. It is stuck in a rock in an ancient cave in northern Norway. It is the spear of Odin. The spear was fashioned by the dwarf known as the Sons of Invaldi, which you actually see in the Asgard Tales here on the game. Under the mastery of blacksmith Dalvin, the spear was obtained from the dwarves by Loki, the result of a scheme he did, concocted as a partial reparation for his cutting of the goddess's Sif's hair. The spear is described as being so well balanced that it could strike any target, no matter the skill of, or strength of the welder. Gungnir can only be removed from the rock if you have completed all the alliances with the Raven Clan. That means you've gone to every single shire in England and you have went and did all the quests and then obtained their alliance. That's quite a long time. Like I said, most of the game had to be played to get that. And you have obtained all four of your adrenaline bars in your skill tree, meaning you have to get enough skill points to then go off on the skill tree to find those four adrenaline bars. And then you can obtain the spear um, there, you can also get it while you are on the final mission with Sigurd as you go to Norway itself and go ahead and try to get him to enter the Valhalla, um, which is really like a Matrix Valhalla. Um, but if you guys watch the game, and I wasn't going to give too much away, but uh, this that's the way you go and you can get it there, or you can actually wait for the, the, the mission to play out, and then you can come back later to the cave like I did um, and do that. So, hope you guys enjoy getting this second legendary weapon, the Gunnir Spear. Um, the spear is my favorite weapon in the game. I love doing a double spear combination. The nice thing about this Gungnir spear is that it can increase its range as you're fighting, so you can hit people from even farther away. The other great thing about spears is that they are very quick, um, and you have the extended range, so I like them even better than the two decker combination. So, hope you guys enjoy watching me get this, and let's get started. Strike of the tune. Thus beat the sword. We lead by our sire, as if armors and shields out of water they were born. Loudly spears they flash, loudly shields they grow.
Abner. Is it you? Go ahead and take a look at Gungnir, the mythical legendary spear of the god Odin. It looks pretty awesome. I'm wearing my Thane armor right now, as you can see. I thought it might be go good with that. Um, there you see it on the back there. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's a legendary spear once welded by Odin himself. It is said that this fine weapon never missed its mark. The spear's reach is extended by a force field, as you can see, pulsating around it. It's a pretty cool weapon. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it when you try it out. Like I said, it is my fa one of my favorite weapons in the game, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. Let's go ahead and check out how this weapon looks in action here. So let's go ahead and take on some enemies here in England, in Canterbury, and we will... Not assassinated if, if I don't have to. I'm such, such a... There you go, it's extended. See that? How it just uh, welded right out there to the end there and took him out from long range. Of course, spears already have good range, um, but it's even uh, better when you can get a whole bunch of enemies together. You just have to watch when you're around uh, civilians, like I said, because it will kill them quite easily because it'll go right through people or extend the range and hit them. And then, of course, you could be disconnected if you hit too many civilians. So, hope you guys enjoy watching me fight here. Uh, I think it is one of the, like I said, this is one of my favorite weapons in the game by far. Um, I, I like to use it with a two spear combination. Um, and that's my preferred fighting style right now at the end game. Unless I can find a better weapon later on, I think this is the one I'm going to stick with. And then, of course, Mjolnir's hammer um, or the poison hammer with a shield is my other preferred combination in the game. So. I'll take out a few more guys here with this spear. You can check it out yourself as I'm fighting around. You can see it extend sometimes as you're fighting. Um, it is really an awesome weapon. Once you guys get it, I think you'll really enjoy it too. And enjoy. Okay guys, that'll be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot and shows me how much you appreciate the product I'm putting together for you. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think of the episodes so far and what you might want to see or if you want me to highlight something you haven't seen so far. Really would appreciate to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I do other episodes of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and other things I do. Check out the description below if you want to see some of the other games I put together for you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and we will see you on the next Dark Comet adventure.